Pocono. Are you concerned about any further actions from Austin? And especially since you have such a great weekend going so far, starting on pole. I don't think so, but I mean, you never know truly, right? Uh, but I think uh, we're in a good place. Uh, but you know, never know, right? Um, we'll see how this race goes, but I'm just really happy that uh, the whole team did such a great job on our Toyota Camry TRD. Um, it was a six fast Xfinity 10G in qualifying yesterday, and it was really cool to have the speed that that we did yesterday, uh, you know, with West Coast Customs on the car as well, and them doing the uh, the giveaway on their street version, uh, street legal, if you will, uh, Toyota Camry TRD they put together. So we'll just see what happens. But uh, I'm really excited about the pace of our car. I've, I've got a lot of learning left to do here at Richmond. I know that for sure, talking to the Toyota drivers. So I'll just go to work on that and make use of the track position we have. All right, hope the weekend ends as well as it started for Tyler Reddick. And Dave, as Marty said, these two are former teammates and uh, have discussed things since last week. But how does that prior relationship change the mending of the fences process? The prior relationship? Um, man, we're here this week at Richmond, and I got a good Bass Pro Shop Chevy. I'm just trying to get to the front. We need a good run for this team at RCR. And been struggling a little bit on this side and had a good car last week. We were making our way into the top 10 and weren't able to get that. So we really need to get that momentum back rolling for this three team. And I think we can here today. It's been a successful track for us. Long runs. It'll be hot and slick out there today. So want to make some new noise this weekend.